After my little comparison dub with this movie, I have gotten multiple requests for another. Kiki's Delivery Service. What's interesting is that both of these movies have a lot of similarities. The biggest one being that originally both were dubbed by the same company known as Streamline Pictures. Both are a coming of age story, however this is more early childhood and this is more the teens. I'm a bigger fan of this one personally, mostly because I can relate to it a little more. Now, very similar to Castle in the Sky, the other dub was not mass marketed, but rather only made for Japanese airlines. This is just a prop, so it's easier for me to talk about them. However, there was a release on a very limited laser disc collection, or if you dig really deeply in the internet archives, you can find the streamlined version of the dub. So the main thing I want to bring to your attention is the Disney version, actually. This is the first edition that came out in 1998. There have been a few changes since then, mostly the idea of musical cues as well as certain ad-libbed lines have been removed as well. One last thing to mention before we begin. I have only found the audio of the original streamlined dub, so I will be using the Disney version for the picture. I'll try my best to line it up as well as I can. So if you notice any dubbing issues, that's on my end. Without further ado, let's begin. For this first scene, Kiki has decided to leave home and begin her training as a witch. The main thing I want to mention here are the actresses. The voice of Kiki in the Disney version is done by Kirsten Dunst, who you may either recognize from Jumanji or, most notably, Mary Jane from the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies. As for the streamlined version, she is the same voice of Satsuki in My Neighbor Tortoro. Seems the Disney version is trying to be more mysterious with what the night is. While the streamlined dub straight out says it. Mom, hey, I decided! Oh, hi, Miss Doris. It's gonna be a completely clear night tonight. I heard the weather forecast, and there's gonna be a big full moon, Mom. Hey, Mom! Oh. Hi, Miss Dora. Hey, Mom, it's gonna be clear tonight. And guess what? The radio says there'll be a full moon. Points to the echo. Did you bring your father's radio to the park without permission again? Did you borrow your father's radio again without asking? Don't worry, he doesn't mind. Fun thing to mention, the voice actress here, Barbara Goodson, also did the voice of Patsu in the other dub of Castle in the Sky. I think she did a much better job here. Is it okay? Please, I'm sorry. Well, happy to see you, Miss Dora. Mom, my mind's made up and I've decided it's tonight. What do you mean you... But you said you were going to put it off a month. Yeah, but the next full moon might be on a cloudy night. I want to make sure I leave on a perfect night. Please excuse me, Miss Dora. Mom, it's a perfect midnight for me to leave home. You mean tonight? Next month is what you told me. Yeah, but the next full moon might be on a cloudy night, and I want to leave on the perfect midnight. Huh? But Kiki... Wait! <gasps> It's just something more organic to Barbara's performance that I prefer. My, my, what's this leaving business? You see, it's one of our old customs. When a witch turns 13, she has to leave home for a year to begin her training. My, oh, my, what's this all about? 
It's one of our oldest customs that when a witch turns 13, she has to leave home for a year to begin her training. Your little baby is 13? My goodness, but time flies so quickly. I know. She seems so young to be leaving home now. Your little baby is 13? Oh. My, my, but time flies so quickly, doesn't it? Yes, I'm afraid it's so. But nobody leaves home that young anymore. Feels like the streamlined version adds a little more to the lore with that one line. For this next scene, we'll be comparing Kiki's cat named Gigi, which for the streamlined dub is voiced by, I hope I pronounced this right, Kerrigan Meehan. In the Disney dub, the voice is provided by Phil Hartman. It could be me, but it just feels like both are doing a Salem impression from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Sorry, honey, but in the words of the immortal bard, that's for me to know, and for you to stay up nights boo-hooing, because you'll never find out. Hurry up! We always said we'd leave on the perfect night, didn't we? Uh-uh. Our plan was that we would stick around for another month and play it safe. I like that plan. And hurry up! You're always telling me to hurry. Now who's the slow poke? I disagree. I think it is much better that we leave with extreme decorum and great dignity. Know what I mean? It could be me, but I feel the lines of Gigi in the streamlined version fit more with the animation. And if we put it off for another month and I find some wonderful boyfriend, then what'll happen? We'll never leave. I'm starting to worry about this. Once you've decided you can't go back. And if we put it off for a month and I find some wonderful boyfriend, then what'll we do? Uh-oh. Come on, Gigi. I'm gonna put my paws together and pray you're not serious. Of course I am. You know ever since I turned 13, I've been excited about making this trip. Of course, I know that. Yay, there. I'm so excited like getting a gift for my birthday. That last line just doesn't yeah. sound right. <sighs> Dad, guess what? I've decided to leave tonight. You're going away? Yeah, there's a full moon. Well, yeah, but what happened to the camping trip we were supposed to take this weekend? Sorry, Dad. What do you mean tonight? Yep, I just decided. Well, yes, but I just rented a bunch of camping equipment for the weekend. Sorry about that. Uh, uh Kiki, I, we... Wait! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, oh, uh, Kiki, wait, I, I, oh, uh, oh. Uh, oh. Take your pick. I feel the streamline had the better mumbling. Yes, I'll expect you then. Thanks. Oh, hi, Mom. I wanted to make sure you knew that Kiki was leaving tonight. Yes, at midnight. Yeah, I'll expect you then. Thanks. Hi, Mom, it's me. I wanted to make sure you knew that Kiki is leaving tonight. Yes, midnight. Pretty much the same lines. But I wanted to make sure the dad got enough screen time. At midnight, she starts her journey. I have a feeling this is one of those reverted changes. During the scene, a small song takes over. Due to copyright purposes, I will play both at a slightly higher pitch. In the streamline, they have the original Japanese song, which sounds like something from the American 1950s or 60s. But the Disney version sounds more like a jumpy pop song from the 90s. Which way are we headed? I think south, to the ocean. Gigi, climb up and turn on the radio because I don't think I can handle it. Hurry, come on. Where are we going? I'm headed south to see the ocean. Gigi, climb up and turn on the radio. I don't think I can handle it. Can you do it? Oh, great. Now I'm suddenly the flight attendant. I find this quite shocking, even in my neighbor Tortoro, the songs are the same, even if it is a different singer. This is followed by an encounter with another 
more stuck up witch. Good evening. It was. Hey, good evening. It was. But these past few dubs, it seems effects were limited in the early days. It amazes me that both dubs have the song sound like it's coming from a distant radio. Newcomer, I suppose. Yep, I guess I must be. I just left home tonight. Mm-hmm. Would you mind turning off that music? I prefer to fly without accompaniment. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> You're new, aren't you? Yep, how'd you guess? I just left home tonight. Mm-hmm. Would you mind turning off that radio? I prefer to fly without being distracted. Oh, yeah, sure. Giving it to the streamlined version, I not only like the whoa from the dip, but I like the cruel humor of the accompaniment. Is it really hard to get settled into a place you've never been? Oh, yes. Lots can go wrong. But since I'm proficient in fortune telling, I'm able to handle anything. Could you tell me, is it really hard to get settled into a brand new city? Oh yes, a lot can go wrong. But since my skill is fortune telling, I can handle anything. Fortune telling? Yes, I tell fortunes about love. Wow. Fortunes, wow. Yes, in fact, I've started telling love fortunes lately. Wow. What are you going to do with your skill? Um, no, well, I haven't made up my mind yet. Uh-huh. Well, I'm nearly finished with my training period. It'll be terrific to go home with confidence. And what exactly is your skill? Um, well, I haven't really decided that yet. Ah, uh, well, I'm nearly finished with my training period. I'm going home soon to show off my new skills. That's my town down there. It's so big. Yes, to you, I'm sure it looks big. That's my town down there. Note that Kiki says nothing about the size in the streamlined dub. It's not big or terribly interesting, but I like it. Good luck to you. Thanks! I hope you don't have too tough a time. Thanks! Ciao! There's something about her saying ciao which seems even more stuck up. Goodbye! Well, for heaven's sake, what a stuck up cat! Uh huh. Mmm. I have to have a skill. Geez, what a snob! And did you see that cat? What's my skill? From what I have seen, the tongue thing is a small trope in anime. However, it seems we have cultural differences with both of these dubs. From other dubbed animes, the tongue thing is more in line with the streamlined dub. With the Disney dub, it's more of an American spin on it. Didn't think I'd go on a discourse on something so tiny, did ya? After making a little distance, Kiki gets in a little trouble with the law after almost causing a traffic accident. You kid! Who do you think you are jumping out into the street like that? You were almost responsible for a big accident, zooming around on your broom back there. Hey kid, what were you doing jumping out into the street like that? You almost caused a giant traffic accident. You must be out of your mind zooming around on a broom in public like that. I think the Disney version had the better traffic cop. You see, I'm a new witch, sir. We're supposed to fly around. You're supposed to obey the law the same as other people. But I'm a new witch, sir. We're supposed to fly around. You're supposed to obey the law. I'm gonna have to write you up. Now give me your name and address. Will you tell my parents? Of course, I'm going to tell your parents. I have to do that with every minor. Thief! Thief! Huh? Somebody! Call hey! the cops! He's getting away! Now you stay right there! Now give me your name and address. You're not gonna tell my parents, are you? Of course, if it's necessary. I have to do that because you're a minor. Thief! Hmm? Thief! Somebody's huh? stopping me! He's huh? getting away! Stop! Thief! Don't you move from there! Kiki, he said to stay here. No! He told us to stay there. We don't want to get in trouble, Kiki. Odd how the Disney version added more dialogue here. Kiki? Hey! Hey, wait up! It worked out pretty good, huh? It was a pretty great plan to get rid of that cop, huh? That was me back there. I was the one that kept yelling thief. Uh, Kiki? 
Hello? Hmm? Miss, wait up. I sure fooled that cop, huh? Hey, that was me yelling thief? You'll be okay now. Worked out pretty good, huh? You gotta be a real witch. The way you can fly that broom. Do you think maybe you can teach me how to fly it? Hey, you're a real witch flying on a broom, right? That broom's cool. You think I could take a look at it? Hey, Tombo! Isn't it a little bit too early for girl hunting? <laughs> hey, you guys! <laughs> shut up! I guess that's two obscure dubs that have a familiar voice from Digimon. I swear, I'm not planning this. Hey, Tombo! Maybe you could sweep her off her feet with that broom. Hey, shut up, all right? Oh! oh. Gee, come on, let me look at your broom, please. Just for a minute. Listen, I didn't ask for your help. I guess I have to thank you for what you did for me. But besides that, it was extremely rude for you to do something without introducing yourself. Hmm. You know, miss, I love flying, too. Can I see your broom? Hey, wait. Thank you for getting me out of trouble. But I really shouldn't be talking to you, and you want to know why? It's very rude to talk to a girl before you've been introduced and before you know her name. Hmm. Uh... Once again, more music in the Disney version. You're kind of old-fashioned, aren't you? You sound like my grandmother. Just go away and leave me alone! What an old-fashioned witch you are. You sound like my grandma. Just go away and leave me alone. Hey! What a cool witch! Hey! Don't go! Come back! Wait up, huh? Oh. Oh. Hmm, what a cool witch. She evades the clutches of the police and comes to a bread shop. A woman exits with her baby, while the store clerk, who is very late in her pregnancy, tries to tell her she forgot something. Why don't we just find another town? There must be plenty of nice ones, perhaps even bigger than this one. Uh. Why don't we go find another town? I'll bet there are bigger and better ones, ones that are friendlier than this. Just a thought. Oh, dear. Lady! Your pacifier! Lady, you forgot this! Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. Hey there! Your pacifier! Ma'am! You forgot your baby's pacifier! gonna be upset I tell you when that baby wakes up and doesn't find this she's gonna cry her eyes out oh poor baby without this the baby will wake up and cry all the way home I better go give it to her myself I'm sorry sir but could you wait just a minute I'll be right back not only are there more people in the shop in the Disney version, but they accept the fact that she has to head out real quickly. Excuse me, but would you like me to deliver it for you? What? The woman with the baby carriage who just went around the corner. I could reach her in no time. Really? You'd do that? Thank you so much. My pleasure. Excuse me, but huh? I could bring it down to her. Oh, what? The woman with the baby carriage, right? It'd be a snap. I'd really like to. Well, that'd be a big help. What a wonderful favor. My pleasure. Let's oh. go, Gigi. Excuse me, young lady. <gasps> oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. Let's go, Gigi. Oh, my. Oh, oh dear. I feel like Asono was more concerned in the Disney dub, but I think the wow is better in the streamlined version. Uh, Kiki, is this really any of our business? Kiki? No, I thought not. I think the extra lines are a nice touch. <gasps> Sorry to surprise you, but the lady in the bakery asked me to return this pacifier. Sorry to surprise you, but you left this pacifier in the baker shop. After this, she comes back to the shop with a note in her hands. I have to be honest with you. I nearly fainted 
did when I saw you fly off. That woman told me to give you this message as soon as I could. When I saw you fly off, I thought for a second I was dreaming. The baby's mother told me to give you this message. Hmm? Thanks for returning the pacifier. Your new delivery girl is really quite special. I got the pacifier you sent. Be sure to thank your little friend for me. She's an absolute angel. I feel like saying delivery girl makes a lot more sense. That way there is a spark for the delivery service. Hmm. I'm glad I could help you out. Bye. Where are you going so fast? Why don't you let me give you something to drink before you leave? Well, I'll be on my way. Wait. Wait a minute. I really must do something to show you my thanks. Feels like the streamlined version. They couldn't translate it, so they just went with what made the most sense with the picture. Sit down and relax. Would you like some hot chocolate? Okay. Sit down and relax, and I'll make some hot chocolate. Okay. There you go. Thank you very much, ma'am. And this is for you, little guy. Thank you very much. And this is for you. Let me get this straight. You have to find your own place to live for a year. That's right. But it doesn't seem as though too many people are fond of witches in this town. So tell me if I'm right. I'm guessing you're a witch in training. You're right. And I really love it here, but people don't seem to like witches in this town. The Disney version makes more sense here. There was no time for Kiki to tell Asono all of this. And I don't think she knows that much about witch culture to make that kind of guess. There are many kinds of people in this town and some of them will like you. Take me for instance, I like you very much. Depends on the people. Now take me for instance, I just met you and I know I like you. Have you found a place to stay anywhere yet? Hmm, I thought so. You should have told me you hadn't right off the bat. We have a vacant room in the attic that you can stay in. So tell me, whereabouts are you two staying? Uh. Oh, I see. Why didn't you tell me you have no place to stay? We have a spare room in the attic. You can use that. You'd really let me stay with you? <laughs> Why, of course. You'd be willing to give me a room? <laughs> Why, of course, I'd be happy to. If you don't have any more questions, let me start the introduction. I'm a Sono. And my name's Kiki. And this is my black cat, Gigi. But we haven't introduced ourselves. My name's Asono. And I'm Kiki, ma'am. And Gigi here is my very best friend. Following that escapade, Kiki is inspired to run a delivery service. One delivery is at the house of two old ladies. In the Disney version, the master of the house is voiced by Debbie Reynolds. She is, she is probably most famous for singing in the rain. And was also the mother of Carrie Fisher. My name's Kiki, and someone telephoned for a delivery service, so here I am. Right this way, dear. My name's Kiki, and someone telephoned for a delivery service, so here I am. Right this way, dear. You are right on time. Thank you. You're right on time. Yes, ma'am. It's amazing how one line can completely change the mood of the scene. For the Disney dub, Kiki feels more at peace here. For the streamline, it seems like Kiki is a little more nervous. Oh, madam, the delivery girl is here. Madam, the delivery girl is here. What? Oh my goodness, is it that time already? What a pleasant surprise. Please come in and make yourself at home, my dear. My. Delivery time already? Come in, dear. Please make yourself right at home. Please do. Thanks. May I take that for you? Thank you. Come, come. Thanks. May I take that for you? Thank you. No? Oh. Room in black cat. Well, it's just like my great-grandmother always told me. Oh, a black cat. Room and a black cat. Well, it's just as my great-grandmother told me. My name's Kiki, and I'm a witch. Mm-hmm. Oh, my, what a pretty witch you are. I'm so sorry, but that special treat you were supposed to deliver isn't ready yet. My name's Kiki, and I'm a witch. Oh, but what a cute little girl you are. 
I'm so sorry, but that cooking you were supposed to have delivered isn't ready yet. The temperature doesn't seem to go up at all. Something's wrong. I think there's something wrong with it. It's got a mind of its own, and it doesn't want to heat up. It's old. Like me, it's seen better days. I was hoping you'd be able to deliver a dish to my granddaughter's birthday party. Machines don't work when they become old like me. I was hoping you'd be able to deliver a dish to my grandchild's birthday party. I feel like Disney had the better old joke. It's one of my favorite recipes, herring and pumpkin pie. I guess I have to admit defeat. I'll have to phone her and tell her I'm sorry. It's my specialty, herring and pumpkin pot pie. But I must admit defeat. I'll have to phone her and tell her I'm sorry. I feel just awful having you come here for nothing. Barsa! Barsa! I feel just awful for having you come here for nothing. Barsa! Once again, Disney has the better joke. I feel what makes it is two things. First, is the whooshing sound. You kind of hear it and you're just like, where is that coming from? What is it? Then it builds up to the reveal of Barson on the broom. The second is the little sound effect that plays. Some may find it cartoonish, but I think it works. Uh, would you get Kiki's money, please? Certainly, madam. All of it. Pay her what we agreed on. Barsa, would you get her money, please? Certainly, ma'am. All of it. Pay her the amount we agreed on. Oh, no, please. Now, don't be silly. It's not your fault it wasn't ready. Oh, no, I couldn't. Please accept it. This was all my fault. Yes, but... Ma'am, since I don't have any other jobs, maybe I can help. How about we use that old oven over there? Well, maybe. I know, but... Ma'am, I don't have any other appointments. Maybe I could help. How about that oven over there? Does that one work? You mean that one? I feel saying appointment feels more business-like. It used to bake beautiful bread, but I haven't baked in it lately. Well, if it burns firewood, I can help you. I used to help my mom bake all the time. It used to be the only one I used, but I haven't opened it for years. If it's one that works with firewood, I can help you. I used to help mom with the oven in my home. It's such a big job to build the fire. It's a great idea, madam. I never liked that electric thing anyway, and we have plenty of firewood. But it's such a big job to build a fire. A great idea, ma'am. I never liked that electric thing. I think her plan is perfect. Ma'am, it'll work, really. You think so? All right, then. Let's try it. I know I'll be able to build the fire. Well, I'm not sure. But if you think you can build it, then... Feels like she was supposed to say more in the streamline dub. This last scene I'm going to compare is probably my favorite scene of the whole movie. First, a little background. Tombo, who you may remember helped Kiki get away from the police, is nuts about lighter than aircraft. Hey, want to drop over to my place? I got something I want to show you. Ah, come on, hurry up! Hey, come over to my place. There's something I want to show you. Oh, you gotta see it. Tombo seems a bit more insistent than the Disney version. There! That party was to celebrate the completion of this thing. The party was to celebrate the completion of this thing. What do you think? This is the engine of a man-propelled plane. Watch this. This is the engine of a man-propelled plane. Like it? We decided we'd assemble the wings and the frame at somebody else's house. I'm planning on flying this thing over most of my summer vacation. We're going to assemble the wings and the frame at somebody else's house. I'm planning on flying this thing during most of my summer vacation. <laughs> oh wow, I got a terrific idea. Why don't we go down to the beach where that dirigible made a forced landing? <laughs> Miss Witch, I got a great idea. Why don't we go down to the beach where that dirigible landed yesterday? Dirigible? Don't tell me you didn't hear about it. I was sick. Then we gotta see it. Let's do it. Dirigible? You mean you didn't see it on TV? I was sleeping. Then we have to go. Let's do it. If you've seen the movie, 
You know which line is correct. We're going with this? Why not? I have to practice all the time anyway. Gotta build up my legs. We're going on this? Why not? I have to practice all the time anyway. Gotta build up my legs. Okay, ready? Um... Okay, ready? This is my first time on a bicycle. Oh boy! Better yet! Brace the bike with your foot until I get her revved up. Let's get going! Um, this is my first time on a bike. Oh boy. Just hold on. Brace the bike with your foot until I get her revved up. Let's go! Okay! Pay close attention to the music in this part. You will notice that the piece is the same, but the Disney version adds a lot more effects. I know if that were me, I'd be screaming. The streamlined reaction is a lot more subdued. We're flying! We're flying! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my god! Just feels like Tombo's reaction to the propeller coming off should have also been used for him jumping off the road. Somehow, Tumbo's scream sounds far more terrified in the streamlined version. And here's just a little extra for this section. Who do you think had the better laugh?
What are you laughing at? Hmm? Does my face look that funny? I'm sorry, but um, when we flew over that cliff, I was so scared. <laughs> I was pretty scared, too. <laughs> Wait a sec. I bet you used some magic. I'm not sure. Well, I was so frightened. <gasps> Your poor bike, it's a mess. <gasps> oh, no. Boy, am I in trouble. Kiki, will you look after the bike for me? What went wrong? I pedaled too hard. That's why it busted. You wait there. Her face! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do I really look that funny? <laughs> I'm sorry, but when we flew up, I was so scared. <laughs> At the end of these videos, I usually like to add in a little bonus footage. These are two quick scenes I want to compare side by side. To survive is expensive. Kiki, look, it's me, it's me. Do you have any money left? Yeah, we'll just have to eat a lot of pancakes for a while. Oh, wow, this costs so much. Kiki, look, it's me! Thank you. Here's your change. Any money left, Kiki? Not much. Looks like all we can afford to eat now is pancakes. I hope I can keep my trim waist. I wouldn't want that girl cat next door to think I'm turning into Kiki. There's flour everywhere. No, for the love of Mike, at this rate, I'll be a white cat by morning. This is quaint. Gigi. This isn't dust on the floor, you know, it's flour. <coughs> hmm. If you wake up tomorrow and find a white cat, it's me. One last thing to mention before ending. In doing some research, I have also found the voice of Sheeta in the other Castle in the Sky dub to be in this one as well. My name's Kiki, ma'am. I've been hearing wonderful things about you. Do you think you'd be able to deliver this by tonight at the <gasps> latest? Yep. It's been in my family for many generations. It's called an heirloom. The next one is really an extra. Both the Castle in the Sky dub and this one were directed by Carl Mekek, who has a brief cameo in this dub. With that, I will end my video. If you have any scenes you'd be interested in comparing, let me know. If I can't show the footage of it, I can at the very least tell you how the lines were changed, if at all. Until next time, keep having fun.